Hello. In this video we explain what happens at the first meeting with an official from the prefecture, in the premises of either the prefecture or OFI, which is the French Office for Immigration and Integration, depending on the department where you are located. This is when you will register your asylum application. The prefecture will ask you what language you speak. Be careful. The language you state could be the one you will use for all your steps in the asylum procedure, including telling your story of persecution. If you speak a little French or English, but not perfectly, we advise you not to state French or English and to state only the language in which you express yourself best. During this appointment at the prefecture, your fingerprints will be taken. They will check if your fingerprints are already registered as an asylum seeker in another European country. They will also verify if you have been checked and found to be in an irregular situation, that is to say that your papers were not in order. They will also check if you arrived in Europe with a visa. If you have been registered in another European country or obtained a visa, you risk being placed in the Dublin procedure which will delay your asylum application in France. We explain this procedure in other videos. You can find them on our Domicile Info website and on YouTube. The prefecture officials will ask you questions about your journey, look at your passport or other documents you give them. Even if you do not have a passport or identity card, the prefecture must record the information you give orally. It is important to give all the information about your family situation and your state of health if a birth or an operation is planned. If the prefecture cannot find proof that you have passed through another European country, you can apply for asylum in France directly. Some prefectures also refuse to register asylum applications if your fingerprints are illegible, but this is illegal. You have to go to an association or a lawyer to challenge this practice. If you do not want to answer the questions, or if the prefecture realises that you have given false information, it may decide that you do not want to cooperate and place you under the fast-track procedure. The fast-track procedure protects you less than the normal procedure. The prefecture must then give you a one-month asylum application certificate that specifies which procedure you have been placed in – normal, fast-track or Dublin. Make a photocopy immediately. This document proves that you are an asylum seeker. You must carry it, the original or a photocopy, with you in case of a police check. It protects you from detention, except if you are in the Dublin procedure. Please note, at that same time that the Prefecture gives you your asylum application certificate, it will also give you a date for an appointment for the renewal of your asylum application certificate. If the date for the appointment is later than the validity of your asylum application certificate, do not worry, you remain protected. Under the normal procedure, your second asylum application certificate is valid for nine months. Then it is renewable every six months. In the fast track procedure, the second asylum application certificate is valid for six months, then renewable every three months. In the Dublin procedure, the second asylum application certificate is valid for four months. Most importantly, if you are in the normal or fast-track procedure, the Prefecture will give you an OFPRA file. You will have 21 days to submit it to OFPRA, that is the French Office for the Protection of Refugees and Stateless Persons. We recommend that you watch the video on the subject. It's here. The Prefecture official must also inform you of your right to apply for a residence permit for another reason at the same time as you make your asylum application. If this is your wish, for example, if you are thinking of applying for a residence permit for health reasons, contact a doctor or a competent association as soon as possible. Indeed, you will have a limited time to do so. So that's it for the first appointment at the Prefecture. Next, you go directly to the OFI counter. In the next video, we will talk about the appointment with OFI, which is responsible for the social care of asylum seekers. See you soon.